What is going on, guys? Mobile Carry News here, and this is incredible for T-Mobile to be doing to be finally doing this. It took them quite a while. I'll leave a link the uh, leave a link below in the description so you guys can check it out. T-Mobile launches 5G network slicing beta for developers. Now, it took T-Mobile a long time to do this. Not only be not only because they did get the the, the Sprint merger was a success. They got more spectrum, more bandwidth. They expanded their 5G. They were ahead by two years, but with networks, 5G network slicing as a whole, it took them longer than expected because they had to uh, not only perfect their current 5G standalone for what was going on from expanding network to supporting devices, make sure connectivity works, everything runs smoothly. T-Mobile had to wait a couple years and perfect it, and now they released it to developers and this is really great news. Now, developers can basically launch la uh, launch this with their applications. Um, they can be confident in T-Mobile that the network runs smoothly. It will be snappy. It will be basically better currently than the other competitors, AT and T and T-Mobile and Verizon. Not well, and not only because T-Mobile is the first network to have nationwide five G standalone, but also because. T-Mobile is also getting a head lead. So this is really good for developers. A lot of people are partnering up with this. They actually like the idea. They actually want more. They actually believe T-Mobile um, will not only get current uh, developers, this will go nationwide. More people will want this in the United States, anywhere from New York, Maine, California, Seattle, um, Texas, more people will be, will be, will be wanting to use T-Mobile's, uh, 5G network slicing. Um, I wouldn't say because I wouldn't say, I don't want to say because they think it's reliable on that most in the, I want to say mostly because T-Mobile is the first 5G standalone has, has the most 5G right now than any of the carriers. They're literally two years ahead and a lot of, and a lot of and developers are going to be taking a few full advantage of this. The and as you can see here, it's already gone beta. Participants line up with including, uh, Di Diopad, Google, Webex, uh, Cisco. That's owned by Cisco, Zoom, and more companies, and this is really good. You know, like I said before, and the article says here, and literally just a five G network slicing was touted as the biggest. You know, it's it was the biggest thing. It was gonna be the biggest thing. The wireless technology since sliced bread, but you know, because five G was still new, it had to be. In the works it had to take some time to perfect it make sure it was working they couldn't just let it they, they couldn't just release it and then have all these bugs and all these issues t-mobile would have struggled they really would have struggled they actually had to perfect it like any other new technology new uh new equipment new car new phone everything it has to be tested perfected it has to work with the latest operating system latest software and some hardware to believe it or not because it all uh the 5 5g uh uh, NSA or you know standalone network is has to be perfect has to be perfected sorry it has to work so it took some time actually it took literally I believe three years since 5G first came out in 20, late 2019 early 2020 it took quite some time for T-Mobile to actually make sure this works but now it is in, it, it is in uh, beta, uh, it's out in beta for basically all developers you know, they're testing out the network. They're making sure everything is basically, you know, in tip-top shape. And it says here, thanks to our nationwide 5G standalone um, network, T-Mobile was the only operator in the country capability of unlocking this technology so developers can immediately begin creating applications that will one day provide tangible benefits to 5G users everywhere. And this is actually true. Like, like when I talk about these carriers, I talk about in the most honest way. I just talk about what's going on with the news. I don't pick sides because it's pointless. It's it's not worth it. And, you know, this basically is true for now. I don't know how the future will be. Maybe AT&T can speed up the process with their 5G. Verizon, I don't know. There's kind of a race here. The only company that's not really racing is AT&T because they're doing their own stuff with fiber. But, you know, that's just my point on that. And, you know, and what basically what um, T-Mobile um, stated here is... Not only is this is this going to keep increasing in the next couple months, by the end of the year, this should go nationwide. And that's actually perfect for T-Mobile to do. That's actually smart because if they bring this nationwide, by, ne by the end of this year, they're going to have 300 million pops in the United States. So that's actually perfect. You know, that actually makes sense. Network slicing is going to be a big part in 5G. 
for using it in software, for using it on the devices, uh, anything mobility wise. Uh, laptop, I don't know if tab, uh, I don't think laptops can really pull that off, but tablets, that would be really good. And T-Mobile said its network slicing beta is available today uh, for, for iOS developers in Seattle and friends San Francisco. So developers in San Francisco and Seattle are going to have a really good, a really fun time playing with this, testing it out, expand. It says, and it's expected to expand nationwide into a Android later this year. So expect Android developers to have fun with their with T-Mobile's 5G. This is going to be really good for Android developers too. I really can't wait for this. And it says here, whether a large corporation or a small startup, any video calling uh, app to uh, develop can sign up for beta by visiting t-mobile's developer platform dev edge those in the greater seattle area are invited to join t-mobile's engineers at the 5g hub in, in bellevue washington to test and validate the capability of their applications where they may find themselves working alongside likes dial up ai you know google so any developer can and that works for these companies can test this out you know they can they can you know play you know to their own applications and this is good this is really good and it's this is a very interesting one network next level video calling the one carrier noted that uh, that data traffic and video calling apps have increased dramatically over the last few years and and they have honestly through the last three years they've been going up uh, you know significantly and more people work remotely and try to stay connected with family and friends with a customized network slicing um developers can get optimized network conditions to test video call applications that require constant uplink and downlink so expect the video call to be more crisp be more you know up to par it, it basically video calls is just going to get better over time and the more people are using this on uh, especially t-mobile's 5g and the more t-mobile's 5 5g actually accelerates gets better close to 300 million pops it's only going to get better guys more developers this would this would not only this go nationwide this go this go this is going to go widespread everywhere in the united states people are going to be talking about it they're talking about it now and it's already going ballistic it's going crazy on on their end and advanced 5G networks are more important than ever with work increasingly happening on the go. And it honestly is, you know, work go, you work on the go, you go anywhere, you know, 5G is basically, I want to say everywhere, but you know, it's getting there. It's going places that uh, we didn't think it would go, go before. Like this network slicing is getting crazy in a good way. And T-Mobile plans them to make, basically have the best 5G standalone or advanced 5G network they ever created in the last 10 years before, uh, behind LTE. This is cr this is incredible, guys. What do you guys think about this? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, guys. And I'll see you guys.